Hello and welcome to part two of my tutorial creating a simple flash website. Right, let's get started with creating the pages. Okay, so we need to create the content for each individual page now. So to do that we're going to create a new symbol for each page by going to insert new symbol. This time we want a movie clip, not a button. And I'm going to call the first one home underscore MC, which stands for movie clip. Press OK. And we're going to draw a rectangle which will basically contain all the contents for the page. So choose a fill colour and an outline colour. I'm going to start with the cross again. Draw out. Doesn't really matter about the size at this point because what we're going to do is we're going to use the black arrow, highlight everything, and we can manually change the size here. So I'm going to change the width to 750 and the height to 525. Okay, so that's the box that will contain everything in our pages. What we need to do is give the page a title. So I'm going to use the text tool to draw a box and call this one home. Choose the color of the text and the size. I'm just going to have this centered in the middle there. So that's our home page. Now obviously all the content for the home will go under here but I'll leave you to decide what would go there. I'm just going to show you how to actually set up the basic structure of the website. Click on scene one to go back to scene one. Now we're going to duplicate the home MC. We'll call this one about underscore MC. Double click on it to edit it and just change the title to about. There we go. We can then go back to scene one. Right click click to duplicate and then links underscore MC OK double click to edit links there we go back to scene one so we've got each of the pages now we need to put them on the actual timeline so let's click on frame one of the pages layer drag the home movie clip on there. Now I'm going to just fit this to window so I can see the whole page and I'm just going to get this aligned correctly. I'm also just going to move the buttons a little bit. Okay, so get it right, get, get it so you're happy with it all and then what we're going to do is going to click on the home movie clip, go to edit copy, click on the next section, okay, so frame 11 of the pages layer, edit paste in place, and then frame 21, edit paste in place. Now, if we go back here, what we're going to do is right click on it, swap symbol, this one's going to be the about movie clip. Click on this one, swap symbol, this one's going to be the links movie clip. There we go, so we've got home, about, links. The next step is to add the action script to make everything work. Okay, so we've created all the content really now. What we need to do is start doing the actual script, the code. So, if I click here, frame one of the actions layer, bring up the actions window and the first thing we need to do is write stop. Now this basically means that as soon as the playhead hits that point it will stop and it won't go to the next page otherwise it would just play through all the pages and just loop round. We want it to stop on this page as soon as we start playing. Underneath we're going to add what we call an event listener for each of the buttons. It's going to listen for when the user clicks on each of the buttons and then we're going to tell it what to do when the user clicks on the button. So first we're going to put the name of the first button home dot add event listener. Now it's important that if that you see capitals here you do put capitals or lowercase etc. Okay, mouse 
event dot click will link capitals. So this means when the user clicks on this button, comma page select. Now this is the name I'm giving to the function that's going to be called when the user clicks on that button. If I highlight this, copy it, and make two copies, I'm going to change this to about and change this to link. So we've got one for each button. So every time someone clicks on one of these three buttons is going to call the function page select. Now we need to define what the function is actually going to do. So I'm going to type function, function name, page select, and then event object. Now this basically says the event object which is the thing that the user has clicked on. So if the user clicked on the home button, the event object will be the home button. Mouse event, curly brace, new line, go to and stop. This means it will go to and stop on the, the next page or the page that's been defined. Event object again, so the object that's been clicked on, dot target dot name. Now this basically will take the name of the button and take you to that page. This is why the name of the buttons are exactly the same as the name of the pages. So that it will use that name, the name of the button, and say go to that label. So the target name. Okay, all we need to do then is close it with another curly brace and we're done with that piece of action script. I'm going to click here and I'm going to click on frame 11 of the actions layer and we need to just put a stop here so that when it gets there to make sure it doesn't go any further you also need to do this to frame 21 stop there we go so let's save it and let's see if it works. Control test movie. About links home. There we go. So we can go to each of the pages by pressing on the buttons. The rollover works. Everything works. Finally, let's add the external hyperlinks and publish the website. Okay, now we've set up the website, you need to add some content to it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how to create a, an external hyperlink in the links section. So if I double click on the links MC, I'm going to add a new text box, which I'm going to put some text in, which I want to turn into hyperlink. So I'm going to link this to my portfolio. Okay, so use the black arrow to just position it. Make sure you've got it selected with the black arrow. Go to properties and then under options you can type in the link. So HTTP, make sure you put that first, then the address. And once you've done that, if you press enter you can choose the target. Now if you choose blank that means it'll open a new window okay so I'm just going to choose that I'm going to save okay so let's test this if I go to control test movie let's click on links there's my link let's click on it and it loads the link now for actually if you want to put this website on the web what you need to do is publish it. So you click on File, Publish, and what this does is will, it will create an HTML file, and you've got the HTML file and the SWF. These two files are the files you'll put on the server. You don't need to put the FLA there, that's just the original flash file which you use to edit the website with. If you put these two files together in the same directory, and then that will create a working website on the internet. So if I double click on this HTML file, there's the website in a browser but obviously you need to upload 
those files to a web server.